Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Victoria Talks About the Stuff She Likes. Someone was saying the other day how every single person starts a YouTube video by saying, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I decided not to do that and be different and unique. Was it so different and so unique? Not really, but anyway, I am in a new setup. I got a new camera and I got a nice little ring light and a new area to do these videos. Yay! Thumbs up for that! Uh, speaking of thumbs up, if you do like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. And if I can figure out how to insert a subscribe here button in post-production, then I'll put it right here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure out how to do that, but you know. Today, um, I'm talking about skincare. I did a poll on my Instagram a few weeks ago um, about what people wanted to see for my next YouTube video, and the majority said skincare related, which if you're not following me there, please follow me. I do lots of fun things, and I think I would follow myself. I am gonna be talking about my favorite face masks from 2017 and these are the products that I really really loved and am still consistently using. Um, I turned 26 in 2017 <laughs> and so I became a lot more concerned with skincare and making sure my skin looked good and I bought a ton of skincare like Sephora VIB Rouge. I'm that status and that status is reserved for people who spend way too much money so and just a little background on my skin I have very oily skin which I use a lot of mattifying things to keep that oil at bay like I have constantly have oil blotting sheets with me I have just like a bunch of different masks for different things so I've got masks for acne like when it's that time of the month and you're breaking out and then I've got masks that are good for like before a big event and if you want your skin to be like luminous and glowing and I have some masks that are great for hydration which is really necessary right now because it is so cold outside that my skin has been like so dry so I've been busting out all of my super hydrating masks um, so I'll leave links for all of these below and if you have any other mask suggestions I would love to hear them um, but I'm gonna jump right on into it and I've got 10 for you so these are my 10 favorite face masks one of my girlfriends one of my best friends um, told me that I needed to tell you that these aren't miracle workers these masks so make sure no mask is gonna do anything for you unless you're hydrated so you're welcome, Ariel. I mentioned it. The first mask I'm gonna start with is one that has been talked about so much that I don't really need to talk too much about it, but it's the classic Glam Glow mask, the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And this, I have a mini one just because I like the minis because I can take them with me to travel. Um, but this is just your classic mask. You leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, like one to three times per week and it's supposed to dry out all your impurities. You put it on, it's like black and then it dries to a light gray and you can kind of see it sucking out all of the gunk in your skin. So it's really good to dry out skin, clear your pores. Um, with that being said, I rarely follow the directions on any mask. I usually leave it on for a lot longer than I'm supposed to. Um, I have been known to fall asleep in a mask many a time because you put the mask on and you get all relaxed and you're sitting and watching TV or something and I'm narcoleptic so I can fall asleep anywhere. I have fallen asleep with the Glam Glow mask on more times than I can count and then you wake up in the morning and you're like ah I forgot I had this on my face. I have never noticed any like negative um, impact from doing that. Your skin might be a little bit more dry than usual, but you're not gonna have like a terrible allergic reaction. One would think. Keep in mind, you should probably patch test everything before you put it all over your face just to make sure you're not gonna have a reaction to it. Moving on, I've got one of my other favorite, my second favorite mask is the Peter Thomas Roth Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. And I really do like sulfur for um, when you are trying to get rid of acne. I think it works really well. And this, I probably used once or twice a week for the majority of 2017. I think it does a really good job. 
and I do really really like it. The directions say um, apply two to three times per week, allow, allow the mask to dry to five to ten minutes. I usually left it on for like two hours. Again, I do not follow instructions, but definitely read the instructions and follow them if you are an instruction follower. I just happen to not be one. I've fallen asleep with this mask on a ton of times. Um, I've woken up in the morning, no problem. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I keep talking about how I don't follow the instructions on the face masks. And it's because for this one face mask, you really, really need to follow the instructions. It's my favorite face mask of the bunch. I think it works amazing. It is so good at clearing up acne. Like you can have something, put this on the next day, it'll be gone. Like this, it has transformed my skin. I love it, okay? With that being said, follow the instructions because I did not the very first time I used this mask and I severely paid for it. The Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask is probably the best mask of all time. I never really rebuy masks unless I'm obsessed with them. And I usually, I have so many different masks that I'm constantly rotating and trying new things um, that I never finish a bottle. Like I never finish the mask. Um, I finished this already and I think I've only had this for a few months and this to be honest has kind of replaced my Peter Thomas Roth mask just because this is also a sulfur mask but it has um, it's got niacinamide and tea tree oil and other things in it and I just I've been reaching for this a lot more often than I've been reaching for my Peter Thomas Roth so I only discovered this in the later half of 2017 um, which is why I still wanted to include the Peter Thomas Roth. Also, you might not react well with the products in this mask, so a really good alternative if you do still want to use sulfur on your face would be the Peter Thomas Roth. But like I was saying, I accidentally fell asleep with this. I woke up, my skin felt like it was on fire. It honestly felt like I had gotten a horrible sunburn, which I'm Italian, we don't really sunburn ever, but that's what it felt like. And when I took it off, <laughs> Anything this had touched was red. I had stripes of red all over my face. It was awful. Like, I felt like Lion King. That's not the lyrics. And Mufasa telling Simba, like, anywhere the light touches, you can go, and it's our land. But anywhere that's dark, do not go. Like, do not go dark with this mask. Do not go and sleep in this mask you will regret it and i don't even have sensitive skin and my skin it was awful for like three days i was so bright i had to put on so much foundation it was just no good at all so favorite face mask i usually leave this on for up to an hour and a half is probably the longest i could leave this on the directions say to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then it also says can be used as an overnight mask or spot treatment who is using this as an overnight mask? It, it destroyed my skin. So I would not recommend using it as an overnight mask, but if you're trying to get crazy and it's Halloween and you wanna look like a tomato, definitely leave it on overnight because you'll, you'll look like a tomato. Another favorite face mask of mine um, to use are luminosity and like vibrancy face masks. So one of the ones that I really, really love is this one from Ren. It's the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. And this is basically an orange face mask, um, but it's really good. I like to use this if I have an event to go to the next day and I just wanna look really glowy. Um, I don't even know, it, it says leave for 10 minutes. Um, I put it all over my face and then for this particular mask, I usually wet a cloth make it damp, and then rub this one off my face. So um, again, I actually do follow the instructions with this. So I leave it on for like 15 minutes um, and it makes your skin really glowy. I love this one. This mask my esthetician told me about, and I don't know if you're best friends with your esthetician, but I'm actually seeing her after I film this so I can go get a facial. I do get a hydrofacial once a month, um, but in between, I do like to do this face mask. So it is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial, and I love it. Also, oh, how cute is 
packaging. It's adorable. Um, I love this one. It's actually a very potent mask. So if I am using this, I don't put on like anything else at night. I will just put the um, facial oil it comes with and then like a good moisturizer because this is strong. So it's got 25% AHA, 2% BHA. AHA is alpha hydroxy acid. BHA is beta hydroxy acid. I forget what the BHA is. Um, but I, I do love this one. It makes your skin really, really glowy. Um, so this is a resurfacer. Your skin will look so baby soft and feel baby soft, which is why I think it's named baby facial. Um, it's just really great. I love it. So the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil is what I put on afterwards. And I just think that this is a really good mask for when you have an event. Again, uh, these are all my event face masks. This next one I'm going to talk about, I usually do the like morning of while I'm getting like before I start to get ready. So this one is the Cypress or Cypress. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Um, it's the Glow Filter Mask. So it's a mask that's designed to give you luminous skin. It says, refining mask for vibrant luminosity. And I feel very vibrant anytime I use this mask. The only time I use this mask is when I have like an event to go to. And I'll use it the morning of, I'll put it on for 20 minutes, I'll go do whatever, go on Instagram or something, and then I'll get in the shower, rinse it all off, and then do my makeup. So I love this. It actually is probably one of the best smelling masks. I don't even know really how to describe what it smells like. It is really, smells really like fresh and Fresh is like never a good adjective to use. Um, it smells like summer, kind of. Like, I don't know. It's so like, it's good. It's great. I highly recommend this one. You d definitely look very glowy afterwards. So this is a great mask for vibrant luminosity. Moving right along, I'm going to talk about the products that I use for when I have really dry skin and need some extra hydration. So. This next mask is very soothing. It's very calming. I'm pretty sure anybody can use this mask. It's the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask from First Aid Beauty. I almost said Rite Aid Beauty. Uh, First Aid Beauty. So this mask has actual pieces of oatmeal in it. So it's kind of weird. It's like a chunky mask. Um, but it is very hydrating and very soothing. So this one says apply a generous layer, wait 10 minutes, rinse off, use two to three times per week for dry or distressed skin. I would say that's awesome. I usually leave it on for like an hour. Again, the running theme here is I don't listen to directions, but love this one. It's great. Um, really soothing and I think a lot of people can use this. It doesn't have like any terrible ingredients in there that would irritate your skin. I mean this happens to be a Best of Beauty Allure Award um, in 2015 so I mean it's a couple years ago but it's still really great. This product um, is also a repair hydrating mask. Um, you can only get this I think at certain places. Um, but I discovered the Osmosis line in 2017 and I have to say I really love it. Um, this was one of my favorite masks. Uh, I also bought a second tube of this. That's how much I like it. Um, it is the Osmosis Repair Healing Mask and this just is great. It's super hydrating. This smells so, so good. It smells like almost candy. Like it makes me like it smells delicious. The only problem is it's like dark and it's like very moisturizing. So it comes out and you like kind of have to rub it into your skin. Um, so it's not like the most beautiful mask in the world, um, but it does really make your skin very hydrated. If you use this, I usually use it overnight. You can use it as a mask. Um, it says leave on five to 10 minutes when using as a mask. Um, but if you're planning on using it over um, your serums at nighttime, that's how I use it. I apply it over any like serum and like after my moisturizer, this is the last thing I apply. Um, and it really sinks into your skin and you wake up like really glowy and refreshed. And then this mask is insane. It is so expensive. It's ridiculous. My esthetician gave this to me. Um, she gives me these after my facials and I'm obsessed. This is the best mask of all time for like hydration and repair, but the price is ridiculous for one for one face mask. So this is the Skin SkinCeuticals Biocellulose Restorative Mask. 
and I saved this one. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to show you it. Um, this is insane. I cannot tell you. So I'll go, I'll get a hydrofacial. She does um, some like high glycolic and my skin usually feels a little dry afterwards because of like the different things that she puts on my face. Um, so then I'll come home and that night I'll put this mask on and the next day my skin is just so perfect. I can't even like it's like so hydrated so glowy like a hydrofacial alone does make your skin glowy and hydrated obviously um but this just takes it to a different level so if i had all the money in the world i would be buying these all the time um it's like 120 dollars i think it is outrageous but if you have like this is the mask that doctors give um for after people have like procedures done so after like a peel or something um this is awesome and then if you don't want to spend $120, which I know you don't want to spend $120 on a mask, ridiculous. This one by Bosha, I really like too. It's the, oh gosh, I cannot pronounce this, Subaki, Subaki Oil Deep Hydration Hydrogel Mask. So this is a good alternative too. This is really hydrating actually. I've bought a couple of these. I think this is $8. So $8, $120, like, mm. I mean, that mask is great. I, that you usually leave that one on for like 20 minutes um but this mask is also great and budget friendly the last mask i wanted to talk about um i don't actually have any because it hasn't arrived yet um and it's something that a lot of people have been talking about so you may have already heard about it um but it's the co2 mask and it's a really i'll insert here it's a really great mask it's like lifting and firming and plumping and hydrating and it's like you think like oh this is ridiculous because you have to mix the stuff up and put it on your face and then wait for it to dry and then you peel it off so it's a process um but your skin really does look so glowy and vibrant afterwards i used it before a wedding and my skin was like the most glowy my skin has ever been um probably since birth because you know you're glowy then those are all of my masks. I tried to do it pretty fast, so hopefully this video isn't too long. Um, I will leave all the links below, like I said, and you can go and read the descriptions. I didn't want to bore you by just reading off descriptions. I think that's everything. If you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like to just subscribe, I would love that. Um, if you want any other videos or want me to talk about anything else, I'd be happy to. I'd love to hear all, any and all suggestions. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has a great 2018 of skincare. Hopefully I'll discover some more really awesome things in 2018. Bye guys! Oh god, that's really close to my face. <laughs> Am I glowing? It's because I just used a face mask. Just kidding. It's because this lighting is amazing! Da -na -na -na, penguins on the bottom. Na -na 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 okay. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Glam glow. Glam glow, that is hard to say. This takes a long time to do. Like, it takes me an hour to get ready on a good day. I feel like they were trying to be EOS-esque. Oh, that's funny. Favorite mask. I just threw that. I usually damp a, like, wet cloth. I damp a wet cloth? Oh, words. Ooh, it's brown. Oh God, liquidy. <laughs> a lot came out. Ew, that does not look good. It's like <laughs> Turn it off. You can see my shirt reflection. It smells like the beach. <laughs> Try again. So I guess if you get hungry, you could always just like lick, lick your face, which don't do that. I don't mean that. Don't do that. Uh, anyway. Oh. Breakfast. <laughs>